Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and today I want to build a lighthouse. And I, you know, we have core wood, so we're only going to be able to build so high, so it's not going to be the tallest, craziest lighthouse. But I really do want to, like, sail around. Let's find a, I, well, I have sailed around. I've got the spot scouted out. Don't worry, you're not going to have to sit through that. I already know where we're going to build. But let's sail over there, and let's start building a little, a little lighthouse. Just a little, a little something to, uh, to light our way home. Something that we can see easily as we're sailing home. Something with a little light burning at the top what do you say and Corwood's only gonna let us get so tall but that's fine you know it's still gonna be awesome I'm really excited to do this let's get out there shall we we don't have any wind oh man I will bring you guys back in a little bit you know what? just let me sail over there uh just let me sail over there and, and I'll, I'll bring you guys back when we get there and I'll show you the trail Oh, yeah, there it is in front of us. All right, so let me pull up the map and show you where we've gone. It's just a uh, simple, we, we were here. Um, I actually need to label this as the uh, the Great Dwarf Wharf, but we just sailed along the coast here, and then we turned, and I saw this off in the distance, and I thought, oh, man, it would be perfect if there was a nice, like, angled spot sticking out or a nice little raised area, and it turns out there is. So let's go ahead and sail right on in here. <laughs> and we're sailing again, so that means we got to bring back one of the favorite songs. Everybody loves the sailing song for some reason. I'm glad everybody likes that. I do too. It's a great song. Thank you so much for, you know, creating this music. If you guys like the music in my series, you should check out artlist.io, I believe is what it is. Uh, awesome little music music site for uh, creators like me and just full of incredible, absolutely amazingly talented musicians. And I feel so lucky that I got to use their music and show it to all of you guys. <laughs> it's so great, isn't it? And I'm thinking we need to build somewhere right here. Let's go ahead and pull over. If any of you musicians from Artlist hear this stuff, I love your music. Thank you so much. It, it is incredible. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking like right here, right? Part of me wanted, I think I, I think I wanted to build out there, but like the water really raises up over it. And I don't want that. Um, I just really don't like it. <laughs> it probably, we probably could, you know, if we had iron pole, I'd build up a few and just give it a solid base that the water didn't go through. But anyway, I'm rambling too much. I'm going to build it right here, guys. We're going to pick this like highest spot. We're going to have the most uh, view of the ocean we can. Probably chop a lot of these trees down to make sure that we can see this whole view and catch all of it. Oh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, let me start clearing the area a little bit and leveling the ground. It's gonna take a minute. I guess I should have cleared the area beforehand. It's actually a lot to get rid of around here. Hang on. Oh yeah, look at that. I really wanted to create like a ledge here and I think we have, that looks really good. Awesome, this is gonna be a great spot. Oh, yeah. This is going to be nice. All right, let's go ahead and get our workbenches down. Let's see here. All right, so the floor. The floor is an interesting little pattern. All right, let's get it right up to the edge here. I want it right on the edge. Yeah, we're going to go three flooring wide. And then twist it twice. Three flooring. Two. We're gonna go do this the whole way around. This will be our foundation. Whoops. There we go. Not super huge. Um, you know, we're only building with core wood, so we're only gonna have so much support, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna get we're gonna get pretty tall if we can. We're gonna go as tall as we possibly can. But I'm gonna keep it a little skinnier just so that uh, we can build up and still have some walking room and some space. Let's go ahead and finish the floor in here. There we go. We got a flooring matched up with just about every corner. Kind of makes the middle a little jumbled, but I don't mind it. Let's go ahead and start trying to build up. All right. And of course, one of these at every corner. I'm 
to see if I can sink these a little more. Oh yeah, I figured they'd be floating a little. There's that snap. And we can come in and do stuff like this later. Uh, yeah, to seal it into the ground. We're not going to worry about that right now. Alright, let's... Now we need to start doing a staircase. I need to get a staircase up here. Um, this is going to be interesting. Kind of want the staircase to start probably right here. And we are going to use the ladders. And you need to place the ladders um, first and then a single floor piece. And then you can use that single floor piece as your snap point for your next ladder. Maybe. <laughs> if it'll let me. Uh, I just did this, and it worked fine. Come on. Here we go. I could probably do it easier from down here anyway. There it is. Pretty sure that's what we want. After those ladders have been placed, you can destroy that little one by one and actually snap in a two by two. We add a little one by one there on the end to round out the corner, just like that. And we're going to repeat this several times as we climb. Um, let's go ahead and try to add as many of these as we can. And rinse and repeat until we get three. I'm going three uh, three of these four meter core wood tall. So we're going to get one more on top of that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, man, I hope I don't overshoot. And then that'll that'll really mess us up go just like that ah all right I'm gonna I'm gonna do this real quick again it's just rinse and repeat you see me do it twice now so let's just toss them together all the way up shall we right there Up here now, guys. We are up in the clouds. Not really. Um, what we're gonna do for the flooring up here is take and do three one by ones all the way across. snapping into place. Let me go ahead and do this all the way around. And that's kind of the pattern we're going with right there. The pattern I just left behind. We're going to go, ahead. oh no! Can I get this from down here? No? Actually, we probably could with a little bit of help from ladders. It might be a lot easier to do from down here. Let me go ahead and snap all this together. Just got to get a nice little uh, walkway around the top here. Let me make sure that I can actually connect these the way that I want to and that it's going to work out. Yes. Okay, so we're going to have a little gap here, and I'm okay with it. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to fix it later, and, and I'll show you. I, I kind of think it looks cool. Um, yeah, that's kind of the method we're going to go with there. Connecting that might be a little trickier. Or not, actually. Look at that. Yeah, that works just fine right there. All right, let's go ahead and fill all this in. Here we go. There we go, and we have our nice little walk around. We're gonna go back and on all the little angles 
We're going to add two of these little pillars side by side. Two. Two. <laughs> this is going to look great. All right, so now we need to fill in the floor on the inside. And um, what I'm going to do for that is the same. We're going to follow the same pattern we've kind of got going out here. Oh, my guy is starving. Kind of getting hungry in real life, too, man. I'm, I'm, I need some food soon. And look at that perfect little hole we have left right in the center. Isn't that awesome? And I think, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to make a pretty good little ring right did I do this right I think I did this right oh man look at that look at that look at that ah oh, yeah that's just the way I wanted it oh guys okay woo I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to replicate this because normally I just get on here and I have a picture in my head and I just wing it but I really wanted this one to turn out well I had a plan for it this is looking good this is looking Let's go ahead and for the railings I was gonna use these uh, these are gonna be railings we're gonna have to toss these up everywhere yeah and that was my idea for the railings all the way around I hope you guys like that I think it's pretty cool just a little a little different right it's not gonna it's just gonna be two of the pillars right or two of the uh, you know the X pieces right here Ah, uh, maybe we could bump it out one more no we really can't there we go. Yeah, this is going to look awesome. Let me go ahead and do the railing so I don't fall off anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. That's super nice. Okay, so now we want the... Uh, I don't want to fall down that, so I'm just going to slap this over it for now. We can remove that later, even though that kind of like perfect. Wow, that like perfectly build that spot anyway <laughs> uh do you want some walls up let's go ahead and get some walls up there we go all sealed in and we do want a door like access so like when we come up where am i gonna want to turn in i'd say about right here Let's make this our doorway. Very nice. Very nice. All right. We do want this to go up another floor. So we're going to go one, two, and turn in on all the angles again. I'm going to call that pretty close to center. Let's go back downstairs now, guys. There it is, and we're going to try and snap this all the way down to give our center a lot more support. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be really tricky. we got to do it quickly. Now! <laughs> Place where I tell you. There it is. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and check that out upstairs. All right, we're going to hop up here next. Ah, right into the center. There we go. And we're going to build up one more. All the way around. Oh yeah, we are at the end of our, uh, we're at the end of our, our build limits here. Can't do much more after this. It's okay though, because we are almost done. This is, this is almost the top of the lighthouse right here. Ugh, we're just gonna build up. Here. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> ah, if I can get up there, that'll be good. That, that'd be good. That'd be great if I could just get up here. Get up, no, why? <laughs> Okay, now if everything comes together, I'm hoping that the supports will stay. I do believe it's holding. I think that is the absolute limit. 
I think I found that was the limit too. I think I, like I said, I've built this. This is as far as I think I've built. This was the skeleton that I messed around with just to make sure that this idea would work and to see exactly how tall I could get. And it does seem to be holding. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, now we really need to get into filling in, just filling in all the walls and everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in this and we're gonna over snap right here. So there's only three spaces here and we're just gonna kind of over snap this wall or this ceiling onto that. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Very nice. We've got a tiny bit of the little, you know, actual like roofing showing through a little bit, but it's so it's so small. I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it. It doesn't bother me at all. Let's get in here. Zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to throw down just this right now so I can walk in here. <laughs> Very nice. Got a weird little roof that I'm trying to do right here. It's a little experimental. Let me let me test it out, make sure that it actually is gonna do what I want it to do. But actually it seems to be working out perfectly. We kind of free placed the first one and centered it on that core wood, and now all the rest seem to be snapping pretty easily right into their own respective places. Let's uh let's take a look at that from the outside. Yeah, actually, that came out really well. I'm wondering if I could maybe outline it would it look better or worse oops that's not where that's supposed to snap right there very cool i think that's gonna look pretty solid oh yeah look at that it looks really heavy duty actually actually really like that <laughs> that looks awesome let's roll with it okay but really what i wanted to do in here um we need to get back up up there hey yeah all right so what we need to get going in here is a bunch of these, obviously. We need to have lots of lighting in here. Um, now that we have all of these roofing pieces in place, I think it's going to be really easy. I'm going to try and get this to snap right in between these two poles. With the replacement. Two. And then see if we can just go around with that again. Two. One, two. Rotate twice, there we go, rotate twice. Very nice, and we end up kind of with the same sort of hole we had down below, not not perfect. Uh, the roofing and everything is kind of making it a little tricky, but let's go ahead. And it gives us what we want. I just want to be able to place one of these at every, uh, every center piece along the outside here. We did well enough, we should be able to place one of these on the end of every flooring piece and really seal this in. Oops. I think I'm going to go back up there and add a one meter tiny little pole on onto the ends of each one of those, actually. It looks like that'll seal it up a little better. This is my only way to get up here right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's really going to seal it in. There we go. That's going to look great. And I packed it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go check that out from the boat. Oh yeah, we just pulled in. We could see that from C. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Look at that thing. That's great. We may even like maybe try to climb up on top and just put one on the very tippy top too. <laughs> All right, this whole thing needs walls though. We're looking pretty hollow right now. Uh, time to start sealing this up. Oh, is that everything? I think that's everything. All right. 
Nice and sealed in. I think we want the entrance maybe right here. Pop. Nice. Yeah, this is looking great, guys. This looks awesome. All right. Now we got to get a little fancy and let's try to outline this stuff a little bit with some more core wood. Part of me thinks it might be too much. Part of me thinks it's awesome. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. And honestly, we may come in and add a uh, hanging brazier up there. I just kind of want the smoke effect if we can get it. This is looking awesome, guys. Fantastic. I guess the only thing we're really missing is a railing for our staircase. Definitely need a doorway right here. All right, so we're going to try and keep the pattern that we've had going uh, for the other railing up here. And we're going to take each one of these pieces, the one by ones, and we're going to slap those on top of the little one meter posts and we're gonna grab the low x plop that in on these right there Pop. there we go <laughs> this is coming out awesome we are getting the tiniest sliver of a gap Just fine by me, I'll take it. Yeah, all right, that looks cool. I can live with that. Yeah, guys, this is awesome. This is so much fun. Why is building in this game so fun? I can just do whatever I want, and it usually works out. Not saying it's like the best thing ever, but it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and then we'll just cap these, just like that. Really seal it up. And there, it's a pretty awesome little staircase. Just go ahead and look at that from the outside. Guys, this place looks great. Look at that, it's a solid little lighthouse. <laughs> Nothing crazy fancy awesome, but you know, this is really solid. This is really cool. Let's get some windows in on the bottom too. Oh man, look at our, oh, this is so cool looking. Look at our little lighthouse right here on the edge of the black forest. So cool. Absolutely loving it. I am going to throw on probably some small outhouses. We'll, we'll get another uh, little processing area going. We'll probably build a small little pier, but, uh, you know, it's not going to be anything fancy. We'll just add on to this thing to really bring it together. But I think I'm going to put it all in the decoration phase because this was the main focus. This was the main thing I really wanted to build today and go through. The pier, we may copy kind of the same kind of look that we had going on at, uh, at the Grey Dwarf. Uh, the Great Dwarf Wharf. And like I said, we may put a small little cabin somewhere right here uh, off to the side just for processing, for smelting, and and for smithing. But uh, I think we'll put a little kitchen and... Uh, yeah, we may try to add on a little kitchen somewhere and a little... Um, and a little sleeping quarters up here. Uh, yeah, maybe a little workbench area up top. I don't know, guys. This is going to be awesome, but... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to get to decorating this place because it's going to be a lot of fun. I've got a lot of ideas. Probably just a couple, like I said, just a couple little outhouses and a pier. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when I've got it looking awesome. Really excited to show it off once I get it all <laughs> just all lighted correctly. Because I think lighting is going to be a big deal for this one. Uh, really just kind of illuminating under the stairs. Getting the lights up. Getting those to light up really well, but not like trying to overpower. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. Let me decorate this place. I'll bring you guys back in a little while.
Oh man, look at our little lighthouse area. Now I know this turned into a lot of little buildings all around, and I didn't show those, but um, they they were all pretty experimental, except for this thing. Um, the uh, the big little rounded treehouse guys. You're definitely gonna see that again, and I'll walk you through a lot of that in one of the next episodes because I have another idea for something something involving something like that again. But uh, the main focus of this was the lighthouse. All the other outbuildings, like nothing else, was really. Uh, super complicated, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look around at night because I was really happy with the way this place came out with the lighting. Hey! Oh, it was a good leap. Oh man, I might have wanted to put some stairs there. Uh, I, it'll be okay. <laughs> um, these, I've seen this done a lot. A lot of people have done this before me. Um, putting the little yellow mushrooms all over the place for decoration, and it's awesome. And I've really never gotten into it until now, um, but I really like it. I really like the look that it gave this dock. I mean, I hope you guys do too. Nice little spot to pick up some potions on your way out, just in case you need some heals or some poison resist on your way to the swamps. I really don't know what this is. Just a meeting area for you and your buddies. I just really like the lighting here. Uh, I just really like the, the atmosphere and this little, this little round waiting area. I don't know. It was just nice. Look at that lighthouse, too. And you can see that pretty, pretty well from out in the ocean. Um, I don't really want to take the time to, to sail a boat out there, but let's, let's, go, let's go see how far out we can see it. Ooh, yeah. So we're out here. Hopefully no serpent comes and bites me. But uh, yeah, wow, with all the lighting and stuff, you can really see that from from a good ways out. I don't know. I guess I could swim a little further away. And the lights kind of start to disappear a little bit. Yeah, but we're pretty far out here. It, it works It works pretty good. It's a good lighthouse. Oops, the ladder's on the other side. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just playing around. I did fly out there to do that. <laughs> just to show you the, the look from the ocean. It's pretty cool. I really like this place. Uh, simple little processing area again. And I really had this, I really enjoyed this um, like smaller uh, farm. Because like we have a couple of them spaced out around here. Yeah, I'll show you a couple more little little farms that we have around here. And uh, oh, I should have I should have actually had these going. Let me get these burning again. I always forget to do this before the walkthroughs. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And I really, really like the way this place turned out. It's nothing super complicated. It's just, it's just really nice. It was, I don't know. I got really into like the little circle, uh, little circle decking or circle porches. I don't know when you, what, I just got in. Everything around here has a little bit of a roundness to it. The, between the lighthouse and just everything. It was all, everything is pretty rounded around here. Look at that. And I love these little platforms. It's these little semicircles that I put down in front just to collect the stuff. And you can't even just walk right in and pick it up so nice that just i don't know that makes me happy i really like it nice little storage over here just to keep it safe and keep it cozy and keep it nearby i like this gate this gate came out really well i haven't actually labeled anything yet <laughs> but we'll get around to labeling it and the trail that goes off we may continue building from here uh because i do want to start looking for some swamps pretty soon i think we're gonna do one more awesome black forest base and i'm gonna try and go all out for it this one's gonna be really big and really cool i hope i hope you guys like it uh, I don't want to say anything about the next build or spoil it or anything, but it will be our last official like black forest build before we actually officially move into the swamps. Again, little little gardens everywhere. I don't know why I like that so much. I just really I really got away with me. <laughs> I really got a I really got. What am I saying? Words. <laughs> it got away from me while I was doing it. Um, just putting all of these everywhere. The bridge actually makes it kind of hard to plant some here, but I put some down anyway. You know, just a couple places. I just wanted it everywhere. We had the picnic table come back because I really like this thing and it's so easy to just toss in anywhere. And I kind of just gave it a nice little platform to sit on and these are all uh, ladders um, just dug into the ground to help you get up. Kind of like pops you up. Oop. Yeah, like you're excited to get in here and eat. Look at this place. It's so, it's just, it's just nice, right? And it's just cozy. Of course it's cozy.
Yeah, and up here we've got our little forge area. Lots of trophies, lots of little weapons laid out everywhere for teammates to come and take if they need to. Nice forge. Forge is leveled up to level four. We've got another... Um, I, I know we technically, like, you know, we haven't gone to the swamps, but um, I just wanted to put the bellows up in here. It looked good. Technically, you need uh, chains for these, which, you know, we've kind of been finagling chains a little bit here. Um, I put a, I put a hanging brazier at the top of this... Um, at the top of this lighthouse, which you'll see in a minute, just because it is so far off the ground that it helped work. And if you do want chains at this point, you can do it. Uh, go find, you know, a swamp, stick around the outskirts of it until the, you know, the evening comes around, and then you can possibly hunt wraiths with a bow and arrow pretty easy. Uh, yeah, nice little sitting area out here. We do have a hanging brazier up there. That was really just for show. I really, you know, you don't need one up there. I just wanted a little bit of smoke to make the top look kind of like, like it was a little extra hot. So that's just a decoration thing on my part. Uh, yeah, nice little sitting areas everywhere out here. Really like it. And then this was just a lot of fun, kind of a last minute thing that I threw on. It just, I just felt like the base needed one more thing. Uh, oh wait, 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 we didn't even walk into the bedroom. There's a bedroom up here. Oh, that's why we put the hanging brazier up there so that we could actually sleep up here. Because it does. You get nine comfort in here. It's a really cozy bedroom. Super cozy, super tight. And sleeping is totally possible. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. It's, uh, it's a little cramped in here. I guess you don't really need these. I, I like the look. I like the slope in like this, but it is a little cramping. And you don't need them. You can always tear them out if, if you know if you copy the build or anything. Uh, and then over here, yeah, just a little sky bridge. And I did have to plant this tree right here, this one pine tree, to make it work. It was just a little too short otherwise. Uh, but we did get it to work, and this is a really cool place. We've got our cartography table up here, a couple of treasures, nice little meeting area, nine comfort with the hanging braziers up here, and a portal to pop, plop in. I mean, I thought that was a really cool place to put the portal. That way, when you come in, no matter where you, you know, if you're coming in from the sea, you're going to see this place and how awesome it is. If you pop in from the portal, you get to be up here and see how awesome this place is. I don't know. This was a really fun build. Not really so massive as it is just kind of sprawling. Everything is just really spread out, and I really enjoyed it. And I had a lot of fun using all of the different, uh, all the different uh, banners. We got the yellow, the purple, the blue, and the black. Uh, and those are fun. I feel like purple and yellow are pretty new. Uh, I, I don't remember those in the... I know uh, somebody's already told me they're new. Um, I don't keep up with the updates, guys. I like to play the updates as they come out and experience them, and it was really cool to, to see uh, the yellow and purple flags while I was decorating through this build-through. I really like that. That's an awesome color. Uh, those are awesome colors to add. As you guys know, probably yellow is one of my favorite colors. Uh, I love yellow and, and the grayscale. Everything black, white, and gray. The grayscale is just... Uh, you can't go wrong, right? Like, that stuff never goes out of style. I'd love a gray suit. <laughs> Where's my gray armor? I, I, I need some, we need to get some steel armor up in here. Some iron armor. Not, I'm rambling way too much, guys. <laughs> well, like I said, I've been talking too much, guys. I'm going to let the episode wrap up right there. And if you had fun hanging out with me today, if you enjoyed the build, do me a favor, smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in the build through. Like I said earlier, we're going to make one more pretty awesome build in the Black Forest. I have something in mind. It's going to take a little doing, and, and I'm going to have to scout out a really nice spot for it somewhere nearby, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to working on that because that build is hopefully going to be awesome. It is going to be our last build in the Black Forest before we move on and start making some awesome builds in Swamps, which is going to be fun because that's going to open up a whole bunch of stone stuff and iron stuff, which we won't go too crazy with the iron in the beginning, but we will eventually near the end of it. But yeah, one more Black Forest build with all of this comfort level and, and the core wood and everything. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are too. This has really been entertaining for me to like stretch my imagination and really work within the confines of like you know a certain biome or a certain progression stage i really i really love this game and, and how you can build in it and how it, no matter what tier of building supplies you have hey everybody i hope you're having a great day have a great rest of your day and I just want to say thanks one more time to everybody for hanging out here at the Digital Hermitage. Like I posted a little while ago in the community page, we just bumped over 2,000 subscribers on the channel. I think that's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Digital Wanderers. This journey on YouTube and through Valheim and through all the other games we're playing has been absolutely awesome. I'm always so excited to share my adventures with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll stop rambling now. I'll catch you guys in the next build episode, I hope. I'll see you there. Have a great rest of your day.